uh, I have a friend of mine who works with teenagers and he said to me, no matter what you do as a parent, you're going to suck. And I was like, what? Well, that's not very fulfilling sounding, you know. Just in general? It's in general. And he goes, whatever you do, you're going to fuck up. Mm -hmm. He goes, if you're a stay-at-home father, then you're going to be too much in their face and you're going to be not letting them grow. If you're a father who's always gone, then that's going to be an issue for them. If you're a father that works half the time, there's going to have issues with that. If you're a father that doesn't talk about drugs, they're going to have an issue. If you're a father that talks about drugs, they're going to have an issue. So you got to just do what you know is right and know that they'll get it later. And, you know, that's some of the best advice, you know, I'm just, I'm just honest with them and I share with them and very much like um, I say in interviews about the, the Heroin Diaries book, I'm not going to tell you to pick door number one and I'm not going to tell you to pick door number two. So I don't think anybody wants a rock star to tell them what to do. I can tell you what's behind door number one. I can tell you what's behind door number two. And I can show you, but you got to pick. Right. And some people have to die so the rest of us can live. Mm -hmm. I always thought I had to die so everybody else could live, but that's somehow miraculously changed. So people have to make their own decisions.